Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. In today's video we will be installing the old update 2844 um, back into our game because recently GTA 5 has had an update which is 3028 so we're gonna go ahead and downgrade our game to 2844. So before we get into this video uh, it, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe and like it would really help me out anyway let's get into the video so first thing we want to do is find our main game directory it is really simple for steam users you want to go ahead and head to steam which this is probably the fastest way go ahead and find your grand theft auto uh, v once you're here go ahead and go to the side there'll be a little manage tab here click on the go to manage and then click back files and you can minimize that. I'm pretty sure you already know how to do this, but just in case if you don't, there you go. And I recommend pinning uh, your main game directory, um, which going through the comments, so I'm going to pin this down here. There's been a new update on uh, Windows, so I don't really know how to use any of this. So we'll just leave it for now, but I recommend you to pin your common um, over to the side so you know how to get back to your main game directory. Uh, if you're not a Steam user, I'm not sure how to do it on Epic, uh, so I'm just going to show you the actual path. So what you want to go to, go to your file um, explorer here, go to this PC, go to local disk, in here go ahead and go down to program files 86, find Steam, and then once you go into Steam, and then you go to Steam apps, in Steam apps, you can find common and then find your grandfather that will be. Uh, do, I do uh, recommend to back up your files before installing any kind of mods uh, like every other um, modder would recommend. But anyway, that's how to get to your main game directory. Once we're in here, um, you can uh, go down to the gta5.exe and in there you can find the file version. If you just hover over it, it should say file version 1.0.3028.0. This is the newest update. Um, today we'll be downgrading that to 2844. Okay, so what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and go to our browser. I do recommend Brave. I use it. I will link it in the video description. But um, we want to go ahead and go to the file explorer. And uh, if you don't, you can, everything, all the links will be in the description. Just um, go down in the description and find the links there. It's much easier to do that. But yeah, once you've done that, um, you'll find WinRAL. That's going to be the first link of today's video. I'll take you to here, RALab.com. Once you're uh, at this page, you want to find your language here and the bit of your PC. So um, you want to find your language, so mine is English, so let's have a look for English, English is here, and then if your, if your bit is 32, click on 32, or if it's, if your PC is 64 bit, then click on 64 bit, mine is English and 64 bit, so I'm going to click on the 64 bit next to English, okay, once I've done that, I'm going to save it, I'm going to go ahead and download it here, once it's finished downloading, you can go ahead and open it, the downloads then it'll say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device just click yes on that message once you've done that you'll get this little pop up here just click install uh, once it's done that just click okay and then click done and then it should take you to the location of winra uh, we can close that for now because now it's installed so now we've got winra we can close that now we're going to go up to the actual main files for the 2944. Uh, I've linked this in the description. And let's close that notification. I've linked to um, GTA 5v2944 in the description. Uh, this is my original update file. And I've done it uh, so it's pretty easy to download. So in the des uh, video description, you can find it there. Click on it. Bring me to this page here. Okay. There'll be a little green download button. Just go ahead and click download it's gonna go ahead and download for you shouldn't take too long but just wait for it once it's done that um go ahead and save it 
and it should open with winner okay now we want to go ahead and exit full screen for now go to your downloads and we want to go ahead and drag the gta 5 2944.ra onto your desktop okay we want to drag it onto your desktop put it here we can close that so once we've got this on our desktop if it didn't open with winrar and it's like a normal file extractor you can use 7-zip but um if it's not winrar or 7-zip you can click on it right click on it and then go down to winrar it should be there now you've installed it and then go ahead and open press open with winrar and then it should open with winrar Anyway, once you click on it, it should come up with this. Select an app to open this .rar file with. What you want to go ahead and click is WinRAR Archiver. Once you've clicked on this, make sure you click Always, okay? Or 7-Zip if you've installed that. But uh, WinRAR, we're going to be doing today. First time pop-up, it will go ahead and say this. Just click OK. Anyway, once you've opened it, it should go ahead and click like this, okay? Open that file. So you should see, once you've opened the WinRAR file, some file called GTA 5 v 2944 okay? And go ahead and open that, and then there should be four files in here, all applications, okay? And if you hover over them, uh, it will be the version that we need to put it in our game now. So we can go out full screen, just drag it up here real quick, okay? So I've got my WinRAR um, and all my files here on the side. We're going to go back to our main game directory, put this to the other side, so this is just how I do it, you can do it in different ways but this is probably the fastest way, you want your game directory open, okay, as you can see right now uh, our version is 1.0.3028.0, okay, now we're going to go back to um, 28. Four, four. So, what we want to go ahead and do now in our WinRAR, we want to go ahead and select all of them, highlight all of them. Once you've got them all highlighted here, you want to drag them and drop them into your main game directory, not hovering over anything, just at the side. Let go, okay? And then it will ask you to replace the files, okay? Just in case, if you do want to keep the um, uh, the new uh, update, you can, but there's a way to just update your game if you just want to do it that way but for now let's just uh, go ahead and downgrade our game so once it, it should say replace the files okay so we want to go ahead and click replace the files in the destination go ahead and click on that now it's going to go ahead and uh, load it all in once it's in we can just refresh it should all pop up then now we can go ahead and close this now if we go back to our gta5.exe hover over it it will say one file version 1.0.2944.0 uh, and another way to check the uh, actual file version is click on it right click go ahead and go to properties and then you want to go to details okay and then it should say the file version here okay this is now the it's now being downgraded to 2944 okay but once you've done that you've pretty much downgraded the game and this is basically it okay but make sure you also put the language select.exe and gta5 launcher.exe and play gta5.exe in the game from the file make sure you drag and drop everything in there okay anyway once you've done all that you have successfully downgraded your game and you can install whatever mods that you want to install with the downgraded version okay anyway guys if you did enjoy this video i'd appreciate it. if you could give it a thumbs up it would really help me out and subscribe anyway we can go ahead and close this go ahead and launch your game and yeah uh enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye